So I'm currently on my way to Borcia in the Maramures region of Romania and I'm coming from Breb, uh, well from Okna Sugatak which is next to Breb and uh, I also recorded a video there so make sure to check that one out as well. Uh, I did some hiking, some exploring in the little villages there, very nice, very beautiful region. And now I'm heading to Borcia and that's where the highest waterfall in Romania is apparently. It's called the uh, Cascada Cailor, I think, which means something with horses, waterfall, I'm not sure. And uh, probably I'm also going to try to find another waterfall, which is a bit hidden. Uh, I found it uh, yeah, on the web, but uh, I had to search a lot <laughs> to find this. Um, so I will hike to that other waterfall. It's not the biggest or anything, but it's hidden. So probably there will not be a lot of people around, which I always like. Um, so yeah, follow with me uh, and uh, let's go and explore more of the Maramures region in Romania. Monastery Shitul Borsa Pitroasa or something like that. It has a golden tower, it looks nice. And uh, the plan is to start hiking from here, but um, the weather isn't that great. It's um, very rainy, but it's not raining really hard and the hike is not so far, so I think I will do it anyway. But maybe first I will eat something, just do a quick picnic here. I have some uh, sandwiches. Some cheese, some salami, and some sauce from Belgium. Can pesto rosso should be, should do the trick. It's uh, not the greatest weather. I would prefer to do this picnic somewhere uh, outside, but yeah, there's not so much choice right now. So let's do it. So uh, vlogging will be with the GoPro, that's for sure, because the weather is really bad. It's not really cold, um, but it's raining and it's not really raining hard, but still too hard. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm prepared. So yeah, let's uh, try to find this waterfall. Maybe because it's raining, the waterfall will be nicer. That would be good. But it's pretty muddy on the trail as well. So uh, let's keep going. There you go. I'm going to the waterfall. It's not too cold for you guys. See you later. I think these are the signs that we're following. But I'm not entirely sure. For now, these are the signs. Maybe later it will change. I'm actually following a GPX file uh, from someone else and uh, after this hike if I find a waterfall I will write a blog post about this hike so you can find it as well. Um, wait there's a fork here, where do I need to go? So straight, okay yeah so I will write a blog post about this hike so you will find it on my website, link is in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it's worth it. But if you're in the area, you're coming to check out the highest waterfall in Borsa or Borcha. Uh, you can come and check out this one as well, maybe. There's plenty of stuff to do here. And uh, funny thing, I saw a lot, lots of, lots of Italian uh, license plates. So, and French ones as well. Not sure what's going on here, but there are lots of Italians here. Strange. Maybe we call the monasteries or something, I don't know. Let's continue hiking.
cow. So it looks like I need to climb this fence right here. Well, it's not really a fence, but there, there's two cows here. I hope they're uh, okay with me climbing this fence. Let's give it a try. Let's see what they do. Don't attack. I need to get away from here as soon as possible. Stay there. Let's rush it a bit. I don't want any angry cows behind me. <sighs> okay, looks like they're staying there. So that's all right. And there's another fence there. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm good, I'm good. But this is clearly a walking trail and uh, that passes through this meadow. So yeah. You need to climb the fence or open it. And there's another one here. Uh, I'll go uh, over it. No, wait. Yes, let's continue. And I hear the waterfall already. So I think because on the GPX file that I'm using, I see that he took, uh, well, the, the guy that recorded that file, he went first here and then down at the waterfall. So I'm not sure if I will do the same. I will check what's the, what the best thing is. If it's nice from here, I'm not going to the other one, but it's starting to rain really harder and harder. I'm completely soaked, but yeah, it's not so long hike. So in probably one hour I will be back at my car with dry clothes, so yeah, no worries. But here we have already a small waterfall. Okay, I need to go over this river to see what's going on there. I don't want to get wet feet. Um, actually, there's a bridge here. <laughs> but a very slippery one. <laughs> Should I do it or not? Okay, let's try it. Nah, this bridge is too dodgy. This is better. Ah, fuck. That will be wet feet. Oh yeah, the waterfall there. Well, it's a small one, but it's cascading. You can see here it starts. I have the feeling the best view will be from the other side. So maybe I need to take that other path anyway. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the waterfall going down all the way here, but probably the best view will be on the other side. So I guess I'm going back and try to find my way to be down at the waterfall. And there probably we will have a better view over it. So let's go. We're back at the fork. You have one way here. That's the one I just took. But then there's another trail here. That's the one I'm going to try right now. And uh, it will end up at the river I see on my map. So hopefully we have a nice waterfall there, because uh, the other one was not really wow, let's say. <laughs> so uh, let's see if the other waterfall or the other trail leads to an, a nicer waterfall. Otherwise this, uh, this hidden waterfall hunt was a bit of a failure. Even though the views are really nice here. The visibility is very bad today, but I can imagine on a clear day it will be very beautiful. Even there now it's like absolutely beautiful. So uh, let's go. Oh damn, I have the feeling this waterfall hunt will not be a failure at all. I can see it already, damn. Whoa, it will be a massive success. If I can see the waterfall pretty clear, I will confirm, but 
It looks pretty impressive actually. Almost there. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. But uh, wait, I will show you. First I will cross this water here, and then I will show you this beautiful waterfall. But the crossing the water is not the easiest stuff. There is no bridge whatsoever. But my feet are wet already anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I made it. Oh nice, and they just cut the trees here. So you have a better angle on the waterfall and it's amazing. Wait, I'll get a little closer. Oh, I didn't expect this. It's even nicer than I thought, so... <laughs> Damn, so beautiful. It's really beautiful. Wait, right, wait, I will show you, I will show you. Maybe a little bit closer. And, yeah. Okay, let me turn around the camera. <sighs> that right there is the waterfall, let me show you. Waterfall hunt was successful and now I'm heading back. I got some photos here but it's raining really hard. My shoes are full of water and it's Gore-Tex so the water doesn't go out. It doesn't come in normally but yeah once you go with your whole foot in the water. Yeah so my shoes are completely soaked. So I'm going to go back to my car but uh, the good thing is the car is not really far actually. I think if you hike uh, di directly to this waterfall, it will be maybe maximum one hour, so not even, 45 minutes. So uh, I'm going to rush it to the car and then uh, get some dry clothes and then uh, check in into my hotel in Borcha. So I'm booked, I have a hotel booked for two nights here and uh, uh, tomorrow I will check out the highest waterfall. So this is uh, one of the waterfalls, but tomorrow I'm checking out a, a higher waterfall, the highest in Romania apparently. So. Let's go back to the car now. Yep. I'm glad I picked up this jacket from Decathlon before I came here because it served me well already and it's only the start of my trip. I have three more weeks approximately in Romania so this is only my third day in Romania. So yeah, lots more to explore. And it seems that I'm not alone on the trails. There's somebody else coming with the umbrella. That's not a bad idea actually with this weather. Buna. Uh, English? Angles? Angles? Anglia. Ah, Anglia. Ah. Cascata. 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 Da, da, da. Si. Oh. Da. Mm. <laughs> That's Wait, I will show you a picture. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. No? No. 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 Picioarele goale, e racea! Ia mânucăle, ia! Uite mânucăle! Eh? Racea! Aoleu! Ah. Frio! Vai, nu-i bun! E api... Ah, no! Da, ne ajută! Ciao! So I wanted to show her a picture, but my phone didn't want to unlock because my hands are so wet <laughs> and my phone is wet so yeah I just left it but I'm sure she already saw the waterfall many times but yeah nice <laughs> she said that I have really cold <laughs> and I will be sick soon well I will just get a hot shower when I arrive 
and it should be all right. Buna. Buna cascade? Si, si. Da, da, da. Eh? Ang Angles, Angles. Cascata. Da, da, da. Si. <laughs> Damn, I always want to speak Spanish, I'm not sure why. <laughs> ah, it's so confusing, the Romanian language. Sounds a bit like Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese. Yeah, Roman language, of course. But they all seem to know, of course, they're locals, about the cascade, the waterfall. And I made it back to the car. I changed for some dry clothes. At least my pants and my shoes are dry. My boxer shirt is still wet, but it's uh, only 25 kilometers from here, my hotel, so I'm going there right now and then get a hot shower and then just chill out uh, because I really need it now with this annoying weather. I hope tomorrow it will be better and I hope the day after, the days afterwards will be even better because I need to hike a lot, so yeah, we'll see. See you there. And I have arrived in Pensionia Timis, which is a hotel in Borcha, just next to the cable cars that go to the highest waterfall, Cascata Kailor. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is a bit better, but let me give you a quick room tour. So this right here is the room, bed. There's a terrace, like a balcony, TV. And this here is the bathroom. So this is the toilet, shower, and a lavabo. And uh, all this costs uh, about 20 euro per night, so that's pretty good deal actually. Um, not sure if this is always the price or I don't know, but I had a good deal here. So uh, now time for a hot shower after this wet hike. Good morning and uh, it's another day here in Romania. I'm still in the Maramures region, I'm in Borcia right now. It's my second day here, uh, well my first full day. Um, but I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> I have kind of a lazy day, it's already 12.30, I didn't do anything yet. But uh, I will drag myself to the highest waterfall in Romania. But I'm not so motivated because I saw lots of lots of lots of cars driving in. Um, and it's I think it's full of tourists there and I generally prefer to avoid these kind of places. But yeah, I'm here anyway. So I will have to check it out. I mean, it will be beautiful for sure, but it will be full of people, I guess. Um, but I'm going anyway. Uh, and there are two options, basically. You can hike up or you can take the cable car. And I'm in a lazy day, so I'm definitely going to take the cable car. But maybe I will hike back down. Um, but I need to save my energy a bit because uh, the day after tomorrow, I will hike for three days in a row uh, on the Via Transilvanica. So yeah, I need to save my energy a bit. And the problem also is my hiking shoes are completely soaking wet from yesterday still. Uh, so yeah, let's go. And the good thing about the Pensionia Timis is that it's really just at the entrance basically of the cable cars to Cascada Kailor, the waterfall here. So uh, I'm just walking there and I saw there are a lot of park, a uh, lot of cars parked. So I don't need to worry about parking because I have parking from my hotel, which is great. And uh, it's nice to see it now in sunny. Well, uh, it's nice to see now uh, with some sun because uh, yesterday it was raining and foggy and you couldn't see a thing. But now it looks really beautiful here. So uh, yeah, let's go and explore. There are some small markets here with souvenirs as well. Let's check it out.
Uh, maybe I'll try one of these when I get back. Actually an open cable car, didn't realize that, it's even nicer. You need to be fast though, and keep your backpack on the lap. Check my pockets, nothing can fall. And uh, it's 20 le to go up, and if you want to come back as well, it's 30 le. So I only paid for the way up, so that means I need to walk back down but I think it should be okay. So yeah, and the weather looks nice so far. A little bit cloudy, but it's okay. Once you arrive with the cable car, it's about one kilometer walking. Uh, it's a bit uphill, but nothing really, um, nothing really hard. So it's a kind of okay, and the views are spectacular here. You can eat something here also. There are some restaurants, there are toilets. So basically everything you need is here, and you don't need to walk that much to see the waterfall. So let's go and check it out. So uh, that toilet looks a bit sketchy, you can see here, oh, and it smells really bad, but I'm not sure if I would like to go on the toilet there. It's uh, going to the toilet at your own risk. And I've made it to Cascada Kailor, or the horse waterfall in English. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice, but uh, as expected, very crowded. So um, yeah, and I think the way back will be hard. To come here it was all the way downhill mostly. I did it in probably 30 minutes, but going back I see people really dying uh, almost because I can see the trail from here, it's completely up. So uh, I think that will be more like a one hour uh, hike and I will be sweaty for sure. But maybe I can take an alternative route down because I'm not, uh, I didn't pay for the cable cars to go back. So maybe I will just find another trail so I don't need to do this uphill and then downhill again because that's a bit stupid. But let's see if there's a trail available or not. So uh, yeah, let's explore it. this nice chill spot uh, if you go from the waterfall a little bit downwards on the left side there's like a river that comes from the waterfall and there's a bench there are some more benches there and uh, I found also a route that can take me back uh, where the cable car uh, starts so really all the way down where my hotel is and it follows pretty much the river all the time so it, I will take that route instead of going up again and then going down again I will take this route the scenic route maybe so uh yeah let's see and off we go on the trails and i think this sign will lead us down there but i have my own map as well so yeah i will find it hopefully i will not find any bears because there was a sign there that said all the wildlife that was here and most of the wildlife is not really scary i think but bears hmm. But there is a lot of noise around the waterfall, so I guess that um, scares them. 
but now I'm here and there's no sound at all. All the people stay there, you know, they don't uh, walk down, I think. Maybe some of them, but not so many. So yeah, we will see. Didn't bring my bear bell again, it's in my car. <laughs> I really need to uh, put it in my backpack. Yeah, let's go. And we're still following the red triangles, so yeah, nothing to worry about, we will find our way, civilization is in sight, there's like an abandoned building here, it just looks kind of cool, I mean this would be a, it would be a great uh, location for a hotel or something, that's probably what they wanted to do, but it's completely abandoned. Go and check it out. Yeah, it's definitely collapsing. Look at that. But there's like an other building on top of it. Not sure what they're trying to do here. Nothing interesting to see here. Looks like the bottom of the building is old and then they built something new on top. No idea what it is. Let's continue the route. See some people there, so we're definitely back in civilization. Let's me, let me check my map. Where are we? So we are we are right here. And this is the road, so the road starts here, but then we still need to do this, this, this all the way until here. So yeah, we're not there yet. If you're wondering which application this is, it's maps.me, maps.me, and uh, it's really a great application. Uh, lots of lots of walking trails are on there. So if you're somewhere and you're not sure, like, can I go somewhere with this trail? Just use that application. But one good tip: uh, make sure to download the maps from the country that you're in up front, because mobile reception is sometimes very weak here or very or not non-existent even. So may, make sure to download the maps. Because I didn't have them for this region, and I had to, luckily I had some uh, mobile data there, so I could download them. But yeah, sometimes in the mountains you don't have signal. And it looks like we made it back. You can see the wooden church here. They're actually still constructing it or renovating it. I don't know. But it's a typical church from the Maramuris region. There are plenty of these kind of churches. Also the wooden gate is very typical from around here. Like in Brep, where I was in my previous video. It was very similar. Very beautiful. back at the start and I could definitely eat something didn't have any lunch but the only real option here is pizza so I might have to eat another pizza but apparently they're very good here so we'll see let's give it a try 
and maybe a dessert, uh, the traditional food here, the sweets. We'll see. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, do you, can uh, I take your order? Yes. Um, do you have the some money or not? Yes, we have. Yes. Uh, no, you are one of please. these, please. And uh, just uh, just a cola also, please. One cola? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> So let's give this a try. Let's see what this is all about. It's very large. I don't think I will finish everything. I think I just need to peel off. It's like all in rings. And it's very nice how they make it. It's like, uh, yeah, very interesting to see how the guy made it. He was like, uh, yeah, let's try it. Mm, yeah. Well, obviously it tastes like cinnamon, sweet, yeah, I like it, it's pretty good. Okay, now, let me finish this in peace and uh, catch you guys later, or not, this might be um, the end of my trip here in Borcha. Tomorrow I'm heading to Sadoa and I will hike, um, the day after tomorrow I will hike three days on the Via Transilvanica. So yeah. Floating water, my everlasting